Now at 6, Columbus police say dozens of shots were fired in a park during a 4th of July fireworks celebration. It all happened just after 1 o'clock this morning in Sawyer Park. That's in the Mount Vernon neighborhood. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew has the night off. 10 TV's Lacey Chris spoke to neighbors who were live near where that shooting happened. She joins us live from police headquarters tonight. Lacey, two people were injured in this shooting. Well, that's right, Yolanda. They are expected to survive their injuries, but Columbus police say they found 52 shell casings. Broken glass, empty alcohol bottles, and other trash line the parking lot of Sawyer Park after more than 50 shots were fired during a fireworks show. Just sitting in the house, listening to the fireworks that was playing over in my neighborhood, and then, like, it mixes up sometimes. So we don't know directly what happened over in the area that the shooting was happening. Columbus police say a 27 year old man and an 18 year old man were both shot and injured. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I really don't. That's just dangerous. And then there'd be kids everywhere. And I'm like, why are y'all doing this? We should be together. We should be happy that we see in another year. In the last year, the city has started adding portable cameras to the city parks, and here's why. According to Columbus Police, there were five shootings between the end of April and the end of June last year at Saunders Park, Nasker Park, Glenwood Park, Westgate Park, and Wineland Park. Those shootings left four dead and four injured. After that violence, the city put about 20 portable cameras in parks. The city recently renewed the contract for those cameras, cameras these neighbors want here just to make sure that everybody's safe. Yeah, we reached out to Columbus Police for an interview. They declined to comment. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.